In this video, we're going to show a strategy on how to solve infinite limits. So how can we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches c is either positive or negative infinity? For positive infinity in reference to the given graph, let's say that this vertical asymptote is c. And for this graph, the vertical asymptote here is also c. Now, for this graph, we can see that as the value of x get closer and closer to c, f of x increases without bound. And for this graph, as the value of x get closer and closer to c, f of x decreases without bound. So let us try to answer some examples. Let's say we have the limit of 1 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 from the left. So the first thing to do is to find f of 3, or to plug in 3 to the given equation. So we have 1 over 3 minus 3. So f of 3 is equal to 1 over 0. So we can say that we have a vertical asymptote at x is equal to 3. So whenever we have the answer that is a finite number over 0, then probably we would be having a vertical asymptote at that number. Because if we have 0 over 0, we're going to use a different strategy. So how do we answer this problem? It is stated here that as x approaches 3. So if we refer to the number line, let's say we have 2, this is 3, and 4. And we are asked to get 3 from the left because of the superscript here. So if it's from the left, let us try to substitute values that would be from the left of 3. So let's say we're doing 2.9999. So doing that, we have 1 over 2.999 minus 3. And then let us consider the sign of the output here. So for the numerator, we have positive over 2.999 minus 3, we have a negative number. And then performing the operation, we have positive divided by negative, we have negative infinity. So for this example, the answer is negative infinity. Let us check using its graph. So we can see here that we have the vertical asymptote at 3. And as x get closer to 3 from the left, f of x decreases without bound. Therefore, this is negative infinity. For example 2, let's say we have the limit of x minus 5 over x minus 6 as x approaches 6 from the right. So let us first try to get f of 6. So we have 6 minus 5 over 6 minus 6. So we have f of 6 is equal to 1 over 0. So therefore, we're going to do the strategy for infinite limits. So let us try to substitute values from the right of 6. So in reference to the given function, let's say we have 6.001 minus 5 over 6.001 minus 6. Analyzing the signs would be the numerator would give us a positive answer over a positive answer. So positive divided by positive, that would be positive, and that is infinity for our example 2. 
let us check using its graph. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equal to 6. So from the right of 6, tracing its graph, as x gets closer and closer to 6, f of x increases without bound. Or to positive infinity. For example, 3. Let us try to get the limit of 1 over x as x approaches 0. So doing f of 0, okay, we have 1 over 0. So let us get the limit from the right of 0 and from the left of 0. So in reference to our number line, let's say this is 0, and this is negative 1 and 1. So if you would like to try values that would be from the left from the right of 0, let's say here from the right of 0, let's try 0 0.001. And from the left, let's say we have negative 0 0.001. So here, let's say we have 1 over 0 from the right, let's have 0 0.001. For the signs, numerator is positive over positive. So positive divided by positive is positive, and therefore we have positive infinity. For this case, we have 1 over left of 0, that is our negative 0 0.001. And that would be positive over negative. And we have negative, and this is infinity. Since the left-hand limit is not equal to the right-hand limit, we can say that the limit for 1 over x as x approaches 0 does not exist. To check its graph, this would be the vertical asymptote at 0. And as we move closer and closer to 0 from the right, we have positive infinity, and from the left, we have negative infinity. So we have does not exist. For example, 4. Let's have 4 over x plus 4 as x approaches negative 4. So let's try to do f of negative 4. So that would be 4 over negative 4 plus 4. So f of negative 4 is equal to 4 over 0. So again, we have a finite number over 0. So we're going to do the strategy for infinite limits. So let's use the limit of 4 over x plus 4 as x approaches negative 4 from the right, and this would be from the left. Let us consider again our number line. Let's say we have negative 4, and then this is negative 5, and this is negative 3. So from the right of negative 4, we have negative 3.99. And from the left of negative 4, we have negative 4.001. Let's try those numbers. So from the right, we have 4 over negative 3.999 plus 4. And from the left, we have 4 over negative 4.001 plus 4. So let us analyze the signs. For the numerator, we have positive over negative 3.999 plus 4 to give us a positive answer. So positive divide positive is positive. For this case, for the numerator, we have positive over negative 4.001 plus 4 is negative, and therefore we have negative infinity. From the right is positive infinity, and from the left is negative infinity, therefore we have D and E, or does not exist. Let us check using its graph. 
So vertical asymptote uh, at x is equal to negative 4. So as we move closer to negative 4 from the right, we have positive infinity. And the limit as we move closer from the left of negative 4, we have negative infinity. Or f of x decreases without bound. So therefore, this would be d and e. For example, 5, let us try to have f of 2. So we have 3 over negative and then 2 minus 2 in the square. So doing this, f of 2 would give us 3 over negative 0. So again, we have a finite number over 0. So we're going to do the strategy for infinite limits. So let us have the right-hand limit and the left-hand limit. Okay, so let us try to substitute values from the right of 2. So let us have 2.001 minus 2 whole square. So for the signs, the numerator would be positive over 2.001 minus 2 would give us a positive answer. Squared would be positive. Times negative here would be negative. So this would be negative infinity. For the limit from the left of 2, let us try 1.999 minus 2 and squared. So the numerator would be positive over 1.999 minus 2 is a negative number, squared would be positive, times negative 1 would be negative. So this would be negative infinity. Therefore, the answer here is negative infinity, since the right-hand limit is equal to the left-hand limit. Let us use its graph to check. So you can see here we have the vertical asymptote at x is equal to 2. So from the left of 2, f of x decreases without bound. Same with from the right of 2. Okay, therefore, this is negative infinity. For example, 6, let us try to substitute 10 over 3 to our given function. So 7 times 10 over 3 over 10 minus 3 times 10 over 3 is the 4. So f of 10 over 3, this would be cancelled. So therefore, we would be having 10 minus 10 is the 4. And that would still be 0. So we have 70 over 3 over 0. So again, this is a finite number over 0, then we would be using infinite limit strategy. So let us analyze again our number line. 10 over 3 is around 3.33. So let's say we have 2, and 3, and then 4. So 3.33 is under here. So this is 10 over 3, or 3.33. So if we assign values, from the left of 3.33, and that is a positive number, and then substitute it to our x here. For the numerator, 7 times a positive number, we have positive over. For the denominator, we have a positive answer because of our even exponent here. Therefore, positive divided by positive would be positive. And this is infinity. Let us check using its graph. So as you can see here, we have a vertical asymptote at 3.33 or 10 over 3. And as x gets closer and closer to 3.33, from the left, okay, f of x increases without bound. So this is positive infinity.